seven feet. Actually, a little more because I've got big feet. And ladies, do the math. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Conan Bust Jordan Shlansky and his elitist espresso machine. Jordan Shlansky, like I said before, it reminds me of Carl Perkins and just that guy just stands there. Yeah, yeah, and Conan just tears at him. I love it. Let's go. Well, I'm sorry to say there's a bit of a controversy brewing <laughs> backstage here at the Conan Show. And brewing is actually an apt term to use because it's it so involves young. an espresso machine and one Mr. Jordan <laughs> Schlansky. I'm investigating this crime now, starting off with Mr. John Croteau. How are you, John? I'm doing great. Tell us about the espresso machine. People are saying that there's an expensive new machine and that Jordan only lets a few people have access to it. Now, Jordan yeah. loves Italy right. and, in fact, mm -hmm. may believe that he's Italian. Yes. Even though his last name is Schlansky. <laughs> Do you know what Jordan does on the show? Um, not really. Are you worried at all for Jordan telling me this? No. Why? He's, he's, he's so, like, dead. He doesn't, I don't think he's <laughs> dead. I don't mean dead. He does, he's dead. He's dead? You know, like, there's like nothing, nothing phases him. Okay, I'm headed back into Jordan Schlansky's office to confront him about this espresso machine. Uh, his office is not accessible, like everyone else's. It's hidden away. That was Jordan's choice. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. Go through this, and you gotta go through here. Then you gotta go through here. Jordan, hey. put on O'Brien here. First of all, your office is a mess. Okay, this is disgusting. Have you been on hoarders yet? <laughs> uh, you have an espresso machine here. There is an espresso machine here. <laughs> there is What's the difference between what you said I don't and have I said? It. Pardon I, me? Don't, I don't have it. It's here. Doesn't mean I have it. What do you mean? I understand. I use it, but I don't have it. Have it implies that I own it. I don't oh. own it. Oh, you don't own it? No, I don't own it. Who purchased the machine? You actually own it. You purchased <laughs> everything in this office. I did? Yes. <laughs> did I buy you this Italian almond biscotti? No, that was free. This is a free biscotti? Yes, biscotto. Pardon me? It's a biscotto. Biscotti. That would be if there was more than one. There's only one. <laughs> would you take me out and show me the espresso machine, please? Yes. This is a Lavazza Blue LB2312 espresso machine. The machine retails for between five and $700. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive machine. Coffee machine. Well, I suppose that's relative. There are espresso machines that cost $5,000. Why didn't you go for one of those? I didn't want to spend your money needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that you were forthcoming about the location of the machine and that everyone was welcome to use it? I want you to understand that it's not my responsibility to be forthcoming and to make announcements of any times. I suggested this purchase be made. I'm not its caretaker or its wrangler. Do you think, do you find it, do you find it, do you find it? I feel like he's one of them guys, he knows how to find loopholes around things. He's so good at that, very, very good at that. Do you find it at all interesting that the machine is located, let me see how many steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Feet, actually a little more because I've got big feet and ladies do the math. <laughs> I'm noticing right now that the instructions on the machine are in Italian. Do you think that's at all off-putting to people who want to use the machine and don't speak Italian? I think you're making the assumption that I chose the display language. Furthermore, Italian is a beautiful language and I don't see the problem with having Italian instructions on the machine. So you made a decision for the group? Yes, I did. The way Mussolini made a lot of decisions <laughs> for his country. Another account who had a dream of things running smoothly. I've been very welcoming of everybody to use it, and I've tried to oh, very, use this. Very welcoming. Uh, the Fuhrer uh, was behind fewer doors in his bunker in 45. I'm going to make that clear. I had to walk through, I believe, seven doors to get here. You could not hide a coffee machine better. If Osama bin Laden was cringing near this coffee machine, he'd be alive today because no one would ever have found him. I take it this is the infamous sign, Espresso 101. You wrote these instructions? I use this as an opportunity to educate the staff, who's largely American, on what a proper Italian espresso American. should be. I'm noticing that you talk about United States and Americans almost with contempt. Do you realize that you're from Buffalo? You, you have a derisive tone towards these 
Americans. I have a derisive tone towards the quality of coffee served in the U.S. You hate American coffee. I've never had a sip of American coffee. What? You won't drink coffee in this country. I don't believe in drip root coffee. Jordan, quick question. What are your responsibilities on this show? I have various duties. My title is associate producer. It's the greatest non-answer I've ever heard. <laughs> various duties, and this is my title. It goes around, around, around. Care to come clean? What is it you do? I have various production-related tasks. If you use the word various one more time, I'm having you arrested. <laughs> what is your job? Associate producer. What do you do when you come in to work? Make coffee. Uh, various from the uh, <laughs> Very, various. This is my title. You are one crafty, fake Italian. <laughs> what I'm going to do is remove this machine for a period of time, and I'm going to replace it <laughs> with this machine. This is the wind mirror. As far as I know, it's not even a coffee company. I think they made lawnmowers until they went out wow. of business. It's dirty. It's old. It has a simple on-off switch in English, because God bless America, you son of a bitch. And you will make your coffee. I think this is blood, by the way. I'm not sure. You will make your coffee out of this machine. That's right, drip coffee. And you will drink it for a week. Well, my investigation's complete. Punishment's been meted out. This is Conan O'Brien saying this is Conan O'Brien saying this guy's not a coward. I like it. That was fantastic. It's just, it's weird the way they can just make mundane things funny. It's ridiculous. Like, how can you make a comedy sketch or whatever, a comedy show, all that? That's just ridiculous. And I've, I'm really enjoying this Jordan Shlansky journey. Just getting to know him. Like I said, it reminds me of Carl Pickington a, a lot. A lot. But yeah, if you want to see more, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, share with your family and friends if you want to. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.